Welcome back to another exciting video. Today, we will discuss the Titanoboa, one of the largest and deadliest creatures that ever existed on Earth. This massive snake is a natural wonder that roamed the Earth over 60 million years ago during the Paleocene epoch. So take a seat, relax, and prepare to meet Titanoboa, the prehistoric snake from your nightmares. Titanoboa was a terrifyingly large snake that once lived in modern-day Colombia, measuring up to 50 feet long and weighing up to 2,500 pounds. A massive snake once stalked its prey deep in the jungles of South America. The silent hunter would slink closer and closer to an unsuspecting animal before striking in a flash and snapping its victim's neck in one swift move. The prey didn't even notice the Titanoboa snake approaching in the midst of the prehistoric jungle's cacophony 60 million years ago. Nothing could stand a chance against the world's largest snake. Titanoboa, the legendary giant serpent, thrived in the tropical jumbles of South America five million years after the dinosaurs died out. The deaths of the giant reptiles created a void at the top of the food chain, which Titanoboa gladly filled. This prehistoric species could grow to be 50 feet long and weigh 2,500 pounds. That's the length of a semi-trailer and roughly twice the weight of a polar bear. Titanoboa was three feet wide at its thickest point, making it longer than a human arm. Titanoboa blended right in with the hot, humid jungle, its brown skin perfectly camouflaging it as it slunk through muddy waters. Some scientists believe it killed its prey by constricting and asphyxiating it, while others argue that while it resembled a boa constrictor, hence its name, it behaved more like an anaconda, lurking in the shallows and ambushing unsuspecting animals with a stunning blow. What happened after that? Scientists agree that Titanoboa was swallowed whole by the great snake, and you would be no exception if you had the terrifying experience of staring into Titanoboa's mouth. It has the potential to kill you before you even have a chance to scream. Let us now delve into the history and naming of this massive snake. The fossils of T. serajonsis individuals were discovered in the Serayon formation of the Serayon coal mines in La Guajira, Colombia in 2009. In addition to the holotype and paratype, these specimens include the holotype, a large precloacal vertebra, the paratype, also a vertebra, and 184 additional remains identified as additional vertebrae and ribs, some of which were found in articulation for a total of 28 specimens. Before this discovery, few fossils of Paleocene epic vertebrates had been found in ancient tropical environments in South America. The snake was discovered by an international team of scientists led by Jonathan Block, a vertebrate paleontologist at the University of Florida, and Carlos Jaramillo, a paleobotanist at the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute in Panama. Fieldwork continued following these initial discoveries, recovering multiple additional specimens, including three skulls with associated postcranial bones. The scientific name is a combination of the Greek word Titan and the genus Boa, which is the type genus of the family Boidae. The species name, on the other hand, is a reference to the Serajon region. Discovering the prehistoric South American monstrous snake, Titanoboa is an astonishingly new species. The story of its reappearance began in 2002, when a student discovered a fossilized leaf while visiting the massive Serajon coal mine in Colombia. The discovery was intriguing because it suggested that the area was once home to a sprawling jungle. Further investigation revealed that the fossil belonged to the Paleocene epoch, implying that the mine was once the site of one of the world's first rainforests. More digging uncovered incredible specimens, including giant turtles and crocodiles, as well as some of the first banana, avocado, and bean plants to sprout on the planet. They also discovered a massive vertebra, a vertebra far too large to belong to any known jungle serpent. It was an incredible discovery, and researchers immediately began searching the mines for more jungle titan fragments. Their working hypothesis was that the massive snake to which the vertebra belonged had become entangled in a mudslide, which buried it. Millions of years and dozens of feet of rock later, the bone became part of rich coal fields, implying that there may be others nearby. The hunt for Titanoboa's skull. One discovery on the other hand seemed unlikely. Though they might find more vertebrae, it would take a skull to show them what the massive serpent was truly capable of, and fossilized snake skulls are notoriously difficult to come by. The issue is that snake jaws are made powerful by their muscles, rather than their bones. Their skulls are actually remarkably fragile and usually crumble before sediment can build up over them. As a result, they are rarely found in the fossil record. 
Over the next few years, however, the team unearthed the remains of 28 enormous serpents and not one, but three skull fragments, allowing them to piece together a full-scale replica of a snake so large and terrifying that it left no doubt about its place in the world's new jungles. What if Titanoboa still lived? Even among the ancient rainforest's massive creatures, Titanoboa reigned supreme. It was the apex predator of its time, a creature as unquestionably the ruler of its environment as the Tyrannosaurus Rex was on its own. Its incredible dominance has prompted some to speculate what would have happened if Titanoboa hadn't gone extinct. Titanoboa reveals new information about the prehistoric landscape. In order to demonstrate Titanoboa's potential size, the Smithsonian established an exhibit in New York's Grand Central Station in 2012. The mock-up depicted a massive snake swallowing what appeared to be a crocodile with its tail protruding from the snake's mouth. They also aired a series of eye-catching promotional videos, such as this one depicting a fight between a T-Rex and a Titanoboa. Titanoboa vs. Tyrannosaurus Rex People were definitely drawn in by the publicity campaign. It was all part of the build-up to a Smithsonian Channel special on the spectacularly rare find, and it demonstrated just how large prehistoric creatures could grow in comparison to modern animals. Titanoboa's enormous size was caused by its hot climate. Plant fossils indicate that the temperature in its jungle habitat averaged a human 90 degrees and could have been hotter. Ectothermic animals derive their energy from external heat sources. They become sluggish when it is cold outside. Only when it's warm can they operate at their full potential. Anaconda A cold-blooded creature's metabolism will run at maximum efficiency if the weather is always hot, allowing them to devote that extra energy to growing larger and maintaining a larger body. Though scientists have debated the theory's merits, some argue that if this is true, why aren't the lizards in today's hottest jungle similarly massive? There's no denying Titanoboa was massive. The largest snake in history simply has no modern counterpart. Prior to the discovery of Titanoboa, the largest snake fossil ever discovered measured 33 feet and weighed 1,000 pounds. That was Gigantophus, a snake that lived 20 million years ago in Africa. The largest snake species in the world today is the giant anaconda which can grow to be about 15 feet long, less than one-third the size of a titanoboa. Anacondas rarely grow to be more than 20 feet long or weigh more than 500 pounds. These modern-day giants, which are frightening enough to encounter in the wild, pale in comparison to their long-dead forefathers. After learning about titanoboa, the largest snake ever discovered, check out these 10 terrifying prehistoric creatures that weren't dinosaurs. Then take a look at these terrifying insects that will haunt your dreams. So there you have it, the Titanoboa, the world's largest snake. Its immense size and power make it a true natural wonder, as well as a reminder of how diverse and fascinating life on Earth can be. Let's us hope that new discoveries will continue to be made that will help us better understand the world around us and the creatures that once roamed the Earth. Well, that's it. For now, we bring an end to this video, but we will come back with some new and interesting videos in the future. Till then, make sure that you like our video and share your views and opinions in the comments section with us. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.